Only a handful of times in our history has a generation been confronted with challenges so vast. An economy that's faltering. Two wars, one that needs to be ended responsibly, one that needs to be waged wisely. A planet that is warming from our unsustainable dependence on oil. And yet, while our problems may be new, what is required to overcome them is not. What's required is the same perseverance and idealism that our founders display. What's required is a new declaration of independence, not just in our nation, but in our own lives. Independence from ideology and small thinking, independence from prejudice and bigotry, independence from selfishness, an appeal not to our easy instincts, but to our better angels. That's the reason I launched my campaign for the presidency nearly two years ago. I believed that our future is our choice, and that if we could just recognize ourselves in one another and bring everyone together, Democrats, Republicans, and independents, North, South, East, West, Black, white, Latino, Asian, Native American, gay and straight and disabled and not, then not only would we restore hope and opportunity in places that yearn for both, but maybe, just maybe, we might perfect our union in the process. So starting now, let's take up in our own lives the work of perfecting our union. Let's build a government that's responsible to the people. Let's accept our own responsibilities as citizens to hold our government accountable. Let all of us do our part to rebuild this country. Let's make sure this election is not the end of what we do to change America, but just the beginning. Join me in this effort. Join one another in this effort. And together, mindful of our proud history and hopeful for the future, let's seek a better world in our time. Thank you, Philadelphia. Love you guys. Thank you.